What's up, I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I've got a Transformers Studio Series Leadfoot that I need to unbox, and this is sent from uh, TML Animation. I know I just screwed up my words there, but this is sent by TML Animation. I won his contest, or I partially won his contest, and uh, he sent this off, and I am going to open it. I'm gonna unbox it, that's the whole point of this. I also want to bring up that this is not a review, this is an unboxing. Uh, some people ask, what's the difference between them? Well, a review, I feel like I would have to actually enjoy the toy for a while and, and get to know it a little more. Uh, unboxing is like, here's my first reaction, what is this, what did this do? So, let's go ahead and open it from the bottom. So. Despite the fact that we don't have Target, this did show up on the Toys R Us website. And when talking about the contest winnings, he, he had mentioned that uh, he could replace the figure for something else. Now, it, it's a whole complicated thing, I won't get into it. But um, uh, instead of my original prize, I asked about Leadfoot. Uh, I, I didn't say I wanted Leadfoot... Um, I, instead, I, I just brought up that I haven't been able to find this, and uh, so we agreed that uh, instead I would just get Leadfoot. Like, he, I, I don't think he actually got the original prize just yet, so it's not like I want him to pay on top of the Leadfoot, of course. If that makes any sense. Uh, so here's all his parts, here's all his doodads and stuff. There's his little, his little pet, his little steel jaw right there. He's a pretty cute little guy. No articulation, but that's fine. So now I got two steel jaws in my collection. Very cool. Let's uh, zoom into that quickly. No articulation. It's just a, a big block, but uh, it's something that was a prototype in the movie. You yeah, know, that's fine. And some people are speculating that, oh, all the other prototypes will be made into Transformers or some of the other little toys that uh, came out for the movie line will be made into toys like uh, Payload and, and Longarm. And to that I think, oh, that just popped right out and it fell somewhere. I don't know why this is really difficult to pop out, but... Um, to that I say, I don't think they're going to do that. I think the likely uh, hood of uh, some of the other concept art figures or, or characters or... I know I'm messing up on my words. I'm really struggling with trying to get some of these weapons out. It, it's really tough because the plastic overlaps. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is I don't think they'll make, uh, let's say, long arm or payload because... I don't feel like there's a really necessary reason for those. Uh, like, Steel Jaw is just a throw into the set. I'm gonna have to cut some of that or something, because that is really difficult to pop out. Yeah. Um, but Steel Jaw is like a throw into the set. You've got other figures that were necessary for Devastator, so I just don't see this likely being made. Look at the plastic that overlaps this. How is anyone supposed to get that out? I'm gonna try to do that off camera so I'm not messing up on my words. All right, so I got the weapons out, but man, was that a problem. There's no twist ties other than this, and that was super easy to pop out, so I don't know why the entire figure is difficult. I'm starting to get a little impatient with that, but uh, there he is, there's the big guy right there. Gotta straighten out his legs because he looks a little short. If it will straighten out any further than that, that is a tight-ass joint. There we go. I will zoom out so that looks a little better. But, uh, yeah, I do like the feet articulation. You can actually make them look a little taller if you want by that. But, uh, there is the lead foot figure. Oh, that's an interesting way to get the articulation out. Oh, because the ball joints are out. I thought this was, like, uh, some of the siege hips like uh, Springer has, but uh, no, it's just the legs weren't sprayed all the way out. There we go. And now there's the jumpy man himself. Very nice. Uh, yeah, the shoulders don't really lock in, but it doesn't really feel like a problem to me. This one locks in a little bit better than this side, though. Eh, I, th I, I think it's fine overall. I heard he's not the best, but uh, I think he's okay. 
Uh, of course, he comes with a bunch of weapons. He comes with five different accessories that you could just tab onto the figure if you want. If you don't want, that is also acceptable, but uh, I gotta figure that all out. So, where does this guy go? Um, you know what? Maybe I should look at the instructions and see if that helps out a little bit. Let me zoom out. And there he is on the package, by the way, or in the uh, backdrop. Instructions! Don't need that. Alright. His robot mode definitely does look like mudflap to me now. I'm seeing I'm seeing what people are talking about. Okay. So weapons, accessories, stuff, things. Let's just put this up here for now. And look make everything look very professional right now. <laughs> uh this ball joint in the arm gets uh, pretty loose at times, but uh it's okay. It's fine. He wants a hug. Ah! The scary Leadfoot man came after me. Let's see, this gun will plug onto here. I know that because it's a 5mm port. That's pretty simple to do. Uh, let's see, okay, so these gun pieces will plug underneath here, which is kind of difficult, but not impossible. And that tabs in just fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure over time it's going to wear off, but uh, plugged in a lot better than I thought it would. Did I plug in the wrong side? Nope. Okay. And then let's see. Let's get the other side on. Uh, there we go. That's a little more loose, but it should be okay. And then these guns should plug onto the sides right here. Like so. Kind of wish they were all 5mm pegs, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Did that plug in just right? Seems like it. I hope it did. If it didn't, I'm going to scream. Let's see, that one's having a hard time, but eh, not impossible. Okay. And there he is. There, there's Lightfoot. All weaponized. Looking really good. I love the head sculpt on that. That is very good. Oh, ho, ho. Merry holidays. Yeah, I definitely do like this. I'm very glad to have him in my collection, and not only that, we got a steel jaw, and we got Roadbuster right here. So I'm just one away from getting the whole crew that I've always wanted, because I like Dark of the Moon, I like the Wreckers, and I wanted a whole set of these guys that look proper, so... Yeah, I, I know people still have their original Dark of the Moon top spin figure, and that's totally fine, but uh, just to have this set, I feel like... It would be so incomplete if I just leave out the Studio Series topspin. I know I've heard that he's not good, he's not an update to the original, uh, like some of these other figures, but I just really want to complete the proper set. So let's go ahead and get to the transformation, because that's a thing. Oh, and apparently the instructions tell you this is how you transform it properly, because I guess something's off about it. But that looked like the only thing that was off. Seems like you're supposed to open the entire torso and do something else to it. This is supposed to fold down. Was was this supposed to fold out in the package? Because it doesn't look like this. It looks proper to me, so I'm not sure exactly what they're wanting me to do right there. But, uh, okay. Be silly then, I guess. Uh, okay, so transformation. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna do something to the head that allows it to flip back. Uh, is there a hinge or something? It doesn't feel like there's a hinge. I don't want to break it, so is there a hinge or not? It looks like there is. But I don't want to snap it. Come on. Come on. All right, I'm going to have to do the off camera. I got the head to go back, but man, that was difficult. Okay, so what's next? What did we do next? You know what? Steel jaw, have the backdrop, okay? Actually, let me take you out because that seems a little too ridiculous. All right, so we got this. And then let's see. Uh, these doors are supposed to fold back, but they don't really fold back too much. Because of how this is designed. Oh, was that? 
That's supposed to go up. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, so that closes up and it makes an... That looks like an engine block to me. Uh, and then all this flips around to the back here. And then that should collapse right in there. And then, let's see. So the legs... It tells you to go straight. Like so. I wouldn't be surprised if they make a lead foot... Or lead foot? Uh, a mud flap and a... Uh, uh, skids at some point. I, I actually think it's kind of weird that they haven't made one yet. Uh, let's see, the feet collapse in like so, and then the whole entire leg system will collapse somehow. Uh, let's see, that hinge, that very tight hinge is supposed to fold down. There we go, like so, like so, and then you have legs like this. You have legs of steel. And then I'm just going to combine that right now. Actually, I'm not because it shows that you don't do that. All right, so this will flip up something like that, I guess. Very complicated and weird how this is designed. Um, it looks like it's supposed to go... Okay, it does go past the tires. That really felt off to me. I did not like moving that. That just looks really weird to me. I feel like, do these tires go back even further? No, they don't. Is this all on? Okay, that's that all hinges. This is a very weird transformation. It's not really that it's complex. It's just very weird how it's designed. And then that flips up like so. And now we have something like this. It's a monster! God, this is a really... Weird transformation, I'll say the least. Okay, now it tells you to tab in the feet. And uh, it shows that these are brought down. But it didn't really show to bring that down, so that was weird. Did it? I don't think it did. Did I miss a few steps? No, it didn't show that. So, basically it shows you, oh, you lift up the backpack. And then here... Oh, I'm, I'm skipping to there. <laughs> I'm professional. Okay, so let's see. This collapses into there, and then what's this? This is all the way forward like that, but it tells you to do something. I, I'm very perplexed by that. Oh, it just tells you to combine that. Okay, and then this all swings up. And I guess we'll just tab everything onto the back here. Uh, you kind of have to open it up to tab it into place because you got these side tabs. So it's kind of weird that it tells you to tab in there when really you should tab in here. But uh, at least we got some progress going on at the very least. Okay, so this uh, folds down. I think I was supposed to do that afterwards, but whatever. It goes in. There we go. I got it. And then, let's see, the hands flip in, like so. Arms will likely collapse in on itself. It looks like there's a tab, and then there's this peg. So it doesn't really line up properly, so that's kind of weird that they would do it like that. But, uh, whatever. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got this, and then it shows you rotate these around like that. Okay, maybe that explains it. Oh, because you got the 42 on the top there. Aha! Aha! Okay. And then this collapses into there, and this is probably going to be the most tricky part of the entire transformation process, because you got to get that tab around this. And that doesn't even feel like it's on straight. Feels like that leg is supposed to go further down. Ah, there we go. Okay. Well, there's a tab that I didn't plug that in. Okay, so that flips down. And that collapses into there. Come on, we just need this tab to go ah, into there. And it doesn't really want to... Am I supposed to feed it in? Like, I don't get why these Transformers toys, as of recent, 
have just been squeezing by uh, through some of the transformation tricks. Like, it should give you more room to work with on certain steps, but it just doesn't allow that. And you basically have to squeeze and bend the entire toy. And I've noticed that a lot of Transformers as of recent has been doing that. I might shave some of these tabs just so that it's easier to actually transform the thing because this is this is a nightmare right now. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna pop that out and then bring this in. And even when I'm moving this down, this tab does not want to go in. There we go, okay. So I squeeze that down, bring that around, and then I'll just collapse it like so. And uh, that made things a hell of a lot easier. And uh, there's the lead foot. There he is. I wish that was painted red, but otherwise that's a pretty cool looking toy. I like the engine rocket things on the top here, but we're not done with this. We got to add some gear going on. I do kind of find it weird that this thing seems to pop out of uh, place. Like you need to untab it for the transformation, but after the transformation, you put it back. Uh, just a different tab, like... You couldn't have invented a hinge. I know you guys have that technology. And that doesn't really want to plug into place for some reason. I don't know why. Let's see if I can get the other side on. Uh, let's see. Does it go this way? Okay, so that side I was able to plug in. It's really tricky though, but I was able to do it. You saw it, you witnessed. There we go, got that side in. And then let's see, these I believe are on the top here because I remember that from the film when Wheelie and Brains were like, oh God, what's going on? Let's see, that goes into there. It's a weird sideways peg too. And then this should plug right onto the top like so. And there you have that. Very nice. I like the placement of that. And then you have Lightfoot, or Steeljaw, that could just, uh, I don't know, go on top of here. I, I think there might be some sort of tabbing thing going on. Or some place to put him, but uh, I don't know. He just sits right on top there and enjoys the ride. Very nice. So, uh, I do like this toy. The transformation is a little weird, but uh, regardless, I got a Deluxe Class Lightfoot. So thank you, TML Animations! I really do appreciate this toy. It's pretty awesome. I like the paint job on it a lot more than I thought I would in person. And uh, without the way, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all this fun doodads. And I will see you guys next time.